Hello and welcome to the Photoshop Podcast. My name is Terry White and it's my pleasure to walk you through the brand new Photoshop Express for iPad. Let's go ahead and launch the app here. One of the first things you'll notice right off the bat is that we've hopefully put some inspirational photos in that were taken with an iPhone and adjusted with Photoshop Express. And the idea of this application, which evolved from the iPhone version, is that people could take pictures with their iPhone, make simple adjustments, and share them with their friends on Photoshop.com, and, event, you know, and then we eventually made it so you can also do it with Facebook and Twitter. However, in this case, we're on an iPad, so you don't have a camera built in yet, so what are we going to do? Let's go to Online. And here's the thing I really love about it, is the ability to share the photos that I have updated and adjusted and uploaded to Photoshop.com uh, using my free account. So for example, if I wanted to show someone my, my car shots here, I've got a couple that were taken with my DSLR, and I can show them on a the nice big iPad screen, and we can flip through them. Of course, the iPad will rotate them and show them in their proper perspective. So, that's great a great sharing and consumption uh, use for Photoshop Express. But, let's go on. We didn't stop there. You'll notice that there is an actual edit icon. Because we know that people will have photos on their iPad and they may want to edit them further and share them. Now the question is, where are those photos going to come from? Well, of course, you can sync photos to your various albums using iTunes. However, Apple also sells the iPad camera connection kit. It's these two devices here and one is actually a USB port that allows you to plug your camera in directly and transfer the images off your camera. The other one's an SD card reader. So if you have an SD card you just put, plug it in and import the images directly off and that's exactly what we're going to do. Because over here I've got my Nikon DSLR camera and we're just going to open the door here. We're going to pull the SD card out and we're just going to go ahead now and put the camera connection SD card reader in the side of the iPad here in the dock connector and we're just going to take that memory card and plug it right in. So that will launch the camera connection kits import feature and that will show me all the photos that I took with my DSLR but here's the catch those photos were shot in camera raw, they're raw photos so, I'm just going to go ahead and make my selections of the ones I want here. I want the various flowers. I like the bird. And we'll go ahead and get the W there. And we'll import them in. Now, it is actually importing raw files. And I know what you're thinking. Does that mean it can edit raw files? Well, not quite. Let me show you what happens. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll wait for those last ones to import there. They're all imported. I do, I do want to keep them on the card. And now we're done with the camera connection kit. We can go ahead and unplug it. And we can go ahead and switch back to Photoshop Express. So now that we're in Photoshop Express, when we tap the edit button, we get the ability to choose the images from the last import. Those four images that I just brought in, and keep in mind those are raw files. So what happens when I open up a raw file inside of Photoshop Express? Well, it gives me the ability, here we can go ahead and rotate rotate that to the proper perspective, it gives me the ability to edit the JPEG preview. So the raw file has a JPEG preview that Photoshop Express sees and edits and opens up just fine. So the first thing we'll do is we'll crop this photo. We'll grab our crop tool here and I'm just going to crop off part of that and over to here. Alright, we'll tap OK to accept our crop. And we also have the ability to straighten, rotate, and flip. Kind of like the flip effect. Just swipe our finger to flip the photo over. Pretty cool. Now, there's one thing I forgot to show you in crop. Let's go ahead and go back to crop one more time. Let's grab the crop rectangle. We have this little lock icon that allows you to choose the aspect ratio that you want to lock it to. So if I want it to be a perfect one-to-one -one square, I can do that. And that will lock it in. If I change my mind, I know that never happens to you, but I have the ability to tap the undo, which will undo the last thing I did, and I have multiple undos and redos. So I can experiment without having to worry about destroying my photo. Now let's go ahead and adjust the exposure here. We have exposure, and there's no interface that comes up because this is your interface, your finger. I can go ahead and slide to make it underexposed or slide to adjust the exposure higher. So you get the idea, it's your finger and your eye to adjust the photo the way you want. 
We'll tap OK. We have some other effects here. We have saturation, tint, uh, black and white, and contrast. We also have sketch, soft focus, and sharpen. But I'm going to go ahead and go over to our effects because I love the effects. I love the vibrant effect. Maybe not so much on this particular photo, but we have pop. We have vignette blur, which I think I'm going to live with. No, I think I'm going to like that one a lot. We have um, warm vintage. We have rainbow, white glow, and black, soft black and white. So let's go back to that vignette blur. I kind of like that where it kind of softens or you know makes the center sharp and softens the outer edge. So we'll tap OK on that. And last but not least, of course, we have borders. So we can tap our border here, and I kind of like, and we have rounded and oval, but I like the soft edge border. Again, we're just going to kind of fade out to a black border. We'll tap OK, and now I can save the photo. And that will save it back to my camera roll as a JPEG. So I still have the raw files when I get home. And I have the JPEGs that I've edited inside of Photoshop Express. So we'll tap our upload and we can select the photo that we just created. And now I can upload that photo to my free account on Photoshop.com. Or I can upload it to Facebook. I can choose Facebook, add a description and upload it. Or I can choose Photoshop.com and I'll have the ability to choose which album that I want to put it in as well as add a description there as well. So I need to create a new category for iPad shots or new album. But you get the idea. Quick sharing of your photos, viewing of your photos, and um, editing your photos even if your photos came from a different camera. So that's just a quick look at the new Photoshop Express, which is a free download from the App Store. Hope you enjoy it. My name's Terry White. Thanks for watching.